Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I want to talk about what it means to be a leader, and specifically, the fact that leaders rely on action, not passivity, to get things done. Please like, subscribe, share this amongst your teams. It can be frustrating to figure out what to do next because failure happens. People don't want to fail. I know I don't. But we also have to understand that failure is a part of the game. When you leave, you are stepping out to be vulnerable. And to be vulnerable and to still decide once being vulnerable is the ticket to making things happen. What does it mean being a decisive leader? Being a decisive leader means leaning on action to get things done. Thinking about what the next step is in order to make something happen and executing on it. It's being aware that passivity is just a trick of protecting your ego and trying to be perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect leader. How does being a decisive leader help with the goals of your team? Being a decisive leader helps with the goals of the team by acting on them and seeing if they are worth it or not. A lot of times we're scared of what may happen if things don't work out. So we don't act. And as a result, things linger. When you might be better off by trying something immediately, and you'll find out that things might not be where they plan, which gives you the time to put the energy somewhere else. You have to act, because if you don't act, then you're stopped. And if you're stopped, you're dead. How do you get started being decisive? That's a funny question because it's by acting. Force yourself to make decisions. Give yourself a little timer or make a deadline or say I have to go with my gut, do something. You have to start moving. And sometimes that may result in things going wrong. Most of the time, just by that action, you're going to figure out a real figuring out of what your next steps are. And then from there, you'll be able to move. So how do you implement this through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction? Self-awareness. You have to be aware that perfectionism is a disease. And perfectionism might be stopping you from being active. If you're aware that your perfectionism and that fear of not being perfect is stopping you, then you'll have more of a chance of allocating the energy to making something happen. Executing. Executing is simple. Just execute. You have to understand that acting begets acting. Execution begets execution. Leading begets leading. You have to step up with the idea of knowing that this might not work, as Seth Godin would say. You have to start. So starting is nothing more than starting. There is no figuring it out. There is no magic bullet. As a matter of fact, if you're watching this video to decide how to act, well, here's the answer. Just act. Direction. People are going to see you acting, and it's your job to tell them what you're acting towards. If you're leading, you have to communicate. Leadership isn't just being decisive, it's communicating that decisiveness towards a goal. So when you set direction, make sure the team around you knows that you're acting towards something, and you're not just acting. If you're just acting, I'll call that thrashing or generating. And nobody wants a generator because eventually, you'll be found out as somebody that's not leading, but trying to protect yourself. And there's no room for leaders to just protect themselves. So let's wrap this up. You need to be aware that action begets action. Then you need to execute on that action. Just get something started. And then in terms of direction, you need to make sure that people know what you're doing. There has to be a goal attached. There has to be a direction of your action or else you're just generating. Leadership is a choice, not a position. You can do it today. If you found this topic of leadership interesting, take a look in the description box and you'll find a couple of books that have helped my understanding of how to become a better leader and some of the pitfalls that I've found across the way. Especially when it comes to leadership, this is not a one-way conversation. I'm not just talking to you. And this isn't just a two-way conversation. You're not just talking to me and I'm talking to you. This is actually a conversation amongst the tribe of leaders. That can't start without you injecting some opinion or idea in the comment box below. 
Talk about some of your own personal stories and help engage all of us into learning how to be a better leader for me. I'm not the only teacher, I'm also a student.